We're going driving tonight. You just chill. In the Rubicon? These tires are bigger than I am, and you're letting me drive it? So you literally have a cop behind you right I know. now. <laughs> okay, so we got a spider eating another spider over here. Oh, what the heck is that? Canyon! What did you do, dude? I Spider eating another spider over here. Oh, that's, is that a black widow? What is that? I don't know it's what not. It is. It's, not a black widow. it's not a black widow, but it has red on it. That little spider is eating that big spider. So the big one is a woodlouse spider. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Look at that. Toxic. It's toxic. What? You're gonna get killed, spider, by eating that. You're gonna die. Oh, are you sure that's not a black widow? That's not a black widow. It's a mixture between a black widow and something else. Oh, what the heck is that? A western black widow, it says. Oh, it is a black widow. Western? Does it have stripes on its legs, though? Yeah, maybe we uh, get rid of that. Mom, did you see the shrimp fajatas? What is it? Shrimp fajatas. Fajatas? Oh, fajitas. Fajitas. Uh, where are the fajitas at? Can you find the fajitas? Fajitas. No, can you find the fajitas though? Where are they at? Do you know what letter makes the H sound in Spanish? H. J. What's fajitas? Okay. We decided we needed something to eat that wasn't fast food, and so we chose Mexican food, and it was really good. I actually didn't order anything. Sarah got uh, nachos, and as soon as she ordered those, I thought, those things are going to come out and be massive, and they were. So, yeah, we have been coming to this place in Payson for many, many years. In fact, uh, we used to come here when we, we were teenagers. We had some friends that worked here. So, Mira Rito here in Payson, it's just been one of those places that we've uh, we just, when we want to eat good, authentic, I guess, or semi-authentic Mexican food, we come here. And I did not order what I usually order here, which is interesting, but I didn't order anything. Like I said, so I got nachos, I shared. Look at how pretty these mountains are back here. Like, it doesn't even do justice how green and beautiful it is. That's one thing I miss about Utah County is the beautiful green mountains in the summertime. So we have, we're having a family home evening group tonight, our first one with my family and it's tonight at seven. So that's in like three and a half hours. It takes three hours to get home. So we gotta hurry and get hit the road. We are almost to Beaver and it looks like there's a forest fire up here. It looks pretty big. We're gonna see it. Hopefully we can see it from the freeway. Here it is, there's the fire. Look at the kitties. Hi, baby. Canyon. What did you do, dude? I, uh, hey, I don't touch the pool cover at all. You're going to ruin it. I didn't try to do the ball, and then I threw the shoe. Why did you throw the shoe on? Dude. I tried to hit the ball. So you got the ball, and the, we have to wait till tomorrow when we open up the pool again. No. That's what that, that, that said. We have to wait till we open the pool again. You cannot get it with the net. You're gonna break the pool cover. That's why you use something soft. That is not gonna work. <laughs> so me and Kanye are playing and he threw it. He was like, he came over and just goes and totally hey, throws it towards the pool. All the, all the over there? Yeah, he came running over to me and just threw it straight towards, towards the pool. It got stuck right in the middle. Grizz tried to go and get it. And then Kanye went and tried to go get it. And none of them succeeded. Az, you got the pool noodle stuck there too? Az, wait Az! You are such a goon, dude. <laughs> we had our family, so it was called Family Home Evening Group 
Um, we've been talking about it for a while, just our family getting together, sharing a spiritual message, having a dessert, and just spending some time together. And so I am actually in charge of it, or in charge of scheduling it. So we made it happen today. We got here in time, cleaned up, just in time for everybody to come over. So it was a great time. We, I'm so glad that I have so many family members close by that we can get together often and talk and connect and and just love each other we're sad when family members can't make it and we totally understand and that's why we're going to do this once a month so we have the opportunity to connect savannah forgot one important thing about cleaning the vehicle hurry run fast let's see here all right here we go Ready? Mm -hmm. Left hand or right hand? Left hand. Left hand or right hand? Right hand. Right hand? Yeah. What? What do you say, Lizzie? Yeah, she sees what's going on. <laughs> Left hand. Like the process of elimination. Yeah. You know what that means? No. We eliminated some keys. Yeah. Yep. And I have one left. Which one is it? I think I know. You think you know? I Are you beating it right now? The Rubicon? We're going driving tonight and you just chose it. In the Rubicon? Driving. You're the one that chose it. It was fair and square, wasn't it? scary. Okay. You there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Here's the thing about the Rubicon. It's uh, about 490 horsepower. Mm -hmm. 40 inch tires. Yeah. It's more like the, it's more like a race car than it is a truck. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So are you ready? Sure. <laughs> Okay, so there's only been one person in our whole entire family that has driven this beast right here. And that's me. Sarah hasn't even driven it yet. So we're gonna let Savannah drive it. Um, I keep trying to th think of a name for this. It's just a monster. I mean, look at these tires. Massive. This is the one that we traded the Nikola Tesla for. Let's see. There you go. How is that? Put on the brake. Okay, so here's, here's what I need you to do. We're gonna go into gear, mm -hmm. but you can't be crazy with this one because this thing's jumpy. Okay. So put your foot on the brake. Okay. Okay, That's now we're going to drive. Now ease off the brake and never push on the gas okay. out the driveway. Doing good, doing good. She's doing really good. Just take that gas pedal and pump it once. A little bit more. Yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Should we do something difficult, maybe? A little bit more difficult? A little bit more, yeah. So right now it's good. Let's go. We're going to turn left at the light. Okay. So that's that's a little more difficult because you have two lanes. Yeah. You can turn into. Keep going, though. Get up there. You still got to be going about 25 to 30. So there's a car right there in front of us. Here's a cool thing, if you watch that light right there, you can see that you're gonna turn, so go ahead and go. Go, gas, gas, go, go. Yep, go. You just follow that car? Follow that car, okay. Now, ease into that turn. There you go, right there. Okay, good, that was good. That, was good. that wasn't too bad, that was a little bit more difficult. So what we're doing, we're going to a little tight area. There's lots yeah. of cars. So you see a garbage can on the right-hand side over there. You yeah. see a truck here. This is a slower This is, too. and it's very slow, yep. And so you're gonna be turning right. Yep, there you go, that's good. Now just go kind of between. So you're in a really residential area here. This is what you're doing. You're watching for kids, you're watching yeah. for anything. People, cars, yeah, people, everything. car people open their doors. So you really have to pay attention to what's going on around you. Can you teach us? Are you driving? Yeah. Why couldn't I learn how to drive? 
driving a cool car. Savannah is driving the Godzilla, the Jeepzilla. Why couldn't I learn how to drive a cool car? I know. <laughs> Seriously. Wait, is it Godzilla or King Kong? Yeah. Savannah's driving. Jeepzilla. I drove it all the way from our house. <laughs> <laughs> how is it? Yeah. Scary? A little bit. Yeah? But, like, not too bad. The scariest thing is, like, trying to keep them lined. Like, it's hard. This thing is not is. easy to drive. Well, and the nice really hard, the big but... car, so driving that little car will be so yeah. nice. <laughs> we need to go. It'll be breezy. <laughs> we did a, an elimination with keys, and she chose this one. So. Yeah. I didn't know that this is. He just had it behind his back. He's like left hand or right hand. And Wait, then he what like drop one. Option? Lexus, suburban, Lexus, suburban, and truck. And he, I put a key in each hand, and then dropped one out every time she said which hand. And she got rid of all the other vehicles. So <laughs> it's good to learn how to drive in a big car, though. Yeah. Like That's I learned how to drive in the suburban. That's right. And then driving little cars around is nice. Yeah. So. Okay, bye. Well, I love you. Have fun. Bye. bye. Good job. Stay in the lines. Yep. Keep going. Doing great. Yep. So just follow, follow it right up to that where that car is. Okay. That's you out. literally have a cop behind you right now. I know. Now. <laughs> Freaking a little bit, but I'm okay. You have a cop behind you. No, even if they do, it's not. You're not doing anything yeah. wrong. You're doing great. Okay, now just follow that. Yep, there's the cop right there. Yep, okay, not to me over. Yep, good. now go. He's doing, he's fine, he's good. Yep. Bye, cop. Good job. You just got away from your first police officer. <laughs> I mean, not really, you didn't get away, you just didn't yeah. get pulled over. That means you were doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have, to have some fun here, okay? Go, stay in your lane. Keep your nice, loose grip on your steering wheel. And get on it, go. Freeway's 80. So remember that. Okay. <laughs> so Savannah is doing really good. I've put some pressure on her. That's what I'm trying to do. Just kind of see how she handles it. Um, and you're gonna turn right right here. So make sure you turning signal and don't stop too sudden. Don't don't okay. stop too abrupt. So I'm putting some pressure on Savannah. Get a little bit fast when I talk. Get a little bit more pressure. And I've and she knows that there's no secret to her. Just to see how she handles. Uh, just a little bit of oh what do I do next right? I don't know if it's helpful. It's it's good. It's, it's, it's actually stressful. It's You're gonna turn left right here. So this is a stop sign. Good stop. That was a great stop. Really good stop. <laughs> it was a little abrupt at the end, but yeah. good stop. Okay. You're turning left. Okay. What do you see on your right hand side? Um, nothing. <laughs> you don't see anything over there in the field. What do you see over is there? This school? That's your school. Oh, but you're driving school. in the wrong side I of the road. The wrong side of the road. Oops. Okay. Pay attention. Sorry. I'm okay, I'm no, distracting you. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> That's your school right there. Yep. So there. we are going to take the path from your school back home. Okay. Okay. So Savannah is going to uh, go to high school. Crazy. She's going to be driving to high school. So, okay. It's so right there, right? your school, it's it's right there. So your turn, Savannah, to your school is right there at that stop sign up there. So if you want to go into the parking lot and park in the school really quick, we can do that. Okay. And then we'll drive from the school home. Okay, Sarah, guess who had a cop following her around? What? Yeah, we went over to Danielle's Ty's house and then on our way out there was a cop behind me. It wasn't following me specifically. Stay, it stayed, he stayed with her for a bit. Really? But he, then he turned, he's like, eh, she's good. <laughs> How'd it go? Good. You know, I've never even driven the Jeep before. Never. Really? I beat you to it. <laughs> but we did drive down to the school and back. Yeah, we went to her school. Why do you want to go to school? Because it's going to be fun. She's going to find a new friend, Joe. Yep. Good job, Gavana Gavina. Thanks. You ever wonder why in life relationships can be so hard? Why, why, why are they so hard? Why can they be so difficult? In fact, why are they most, the most difficult thing on earth typically? Well, because they're supposed to be. They're just supposed to be. I don't know why I'm saying that. Because you already know, like, eh, anyway, that's heard the saying before it's not what you know it's who you know we typically think that's uh, how you get up in life is who you know not what you know but I think that meaning actually has more to do with who you know because relationships are most important so remember that 
Life is hard. Relationships are hard. It's supposed to be so you can learn to understand how to understand each other better. We love you guys. Never forget that. You are worth it.